Hey everybody, welcome back to the gym. I am Rahul, and sorry I haven't been making as much content lately. I've been just a little busy with school, and um, Thanksgiving break is rolling around, so I'm going to be going home to see my family, which will be super fun. Um, but Thanksgiving break also means Fort Wayne Regionals. So, what does that mean, meta-wise? We'll look at, so today what we're just going to do is like, look at the past couple tournaments that have happened in Standard and what everything means, I think. Yeah, we'll do it that way. So the first turn to turn, yeah, Standard Tournament of the Year was Orlando Regionals, where we saw Dark Dex, Dark Tina, Evital Garb, and Plume Box effectively dominate the field. Um, and then fast forward to Liverpool. Um, which just happened, we saw, not just happened, but like a couple weeks ago, we saw Guardi, Scizor, Mega Ray, and Giratina Hammers do very well. Mega Ray eventually winning the event. Um, fast forward to Dortmund that just happened this past weekend. I want to talk about those results and what they mean leading into Fort Wayne Regionals. So let me pull up the top 8 results. First off, Dortmund had a top 32, which I'm really cool and happy about that they had. And from my viewpoint, I think Greninja is one of the best decks um, with a new promo. it's I think it got uh, like the couple of decks that got the most from promos and evolutions. I'm just going to include promos that were in the evolutions, blisters with evolutions, if that's okay with you guys. Um, so, like, the good promos that have come out are Beedrill, um, and Greninja. The Beedrill promo is pretty good in Plumebox, so it's almost a certain add. It makes Plumebox stronger against almost every Giratina deck, I mean, sorry, Giratina deck, every Garbodor deck, but doesn't fix the problem of its innate inconsistencies. Greninja, the Greninja promo is actually nuts. It sets up the perfect numbers um, for knockouts on Garbodor. It, the 20 damage is very relevant later in the game, and it's just like, it's really good. It's like, the more I test with it, the more I play with it, the more I like it. Um, at first I saw it and I was like, this isn't going to see play. Like, sure, you put one in just to deal with Garbodor or whatever. And then like I played with it more and I was like, wow, how is this good? I mean, how is this fair? It just got really good uh, the more I played with it, and I really liked it. Um, I still do. I really I still really like the Greninja promo. So those are the two of the three decks that got the most. And then, obviously, Guard of War got the most out of Evolutions with Dragonite, Rattata, Raticate. You name it. You can throw whatever you want in that now because of Dragonite. I think Guardi is still one of the best decks um, going into Fort Wayne. But... Let's look at the Dortmund results to see what <sighs> decks did well there. There was five Evital variants in top eight. There was one water box Garbodor deck. Um, looking at the list, it just looks like a super lock deck. I'll do a profile on it later, I want to say. But it just looks like a super lock deck from what I'm looking at. There was the Rainbow Road that ended up taking the event, so congrats to him. Uh, and there was the new archetype, a new deck that I've been playing around with, but I don't, I don't think it's competitive very much. I think it's like tier 3-ish, like top of tier, like 2.5. Like, it can win games, but like you have to get very, very lucky and hit the right matchups in the form of Raikou Electrode with Jolteon. He said he, he played. So I'll... um. Look at the Evital decks real fast. Um, so one of the guys played pretty much Azul's list from Orlando with... Like, he changed the... He put Parallels over. There's no Olympia. He made Olympia into a Delinquent. And he played a Jirachi promo, which is cool. I like the Jirachi promo. Um, your Tita Hammers just won a big event in your area. Um, Mega Ray also won. 
No, Mega Ray won the big event, and Gears and Hammers got second. So there's no harm in putting one Jirachi promo in if you play basic energy, just because you can deal with it. Um, this other one looks very similar. Mm -hmm. This is exactly Azul's list, it looks like. Robin Scholz, I want to tip my head to that guy. He played against the uh, Raikou Electrode, and uh, from what I've heard, he won the game because he Evital breaked through Jolteon. So that's pretty good. That's that's impressive. I like it. I like the Evital break. Um, I never thought the card was any good. But you made top four at a regional, so I can't say anything. Then there's Philip Schultz, who played... Eva he played straight Evital garb, like literally four Evital EX and a 3-2 Garbodor line, which is super unorthodox and weird to me. But I guess, like, I understand where he's coming from with just, like, I'm going to only attack with Eva Tully X and then make my opponents have an answer to Eva Tull. And a lot of decks don't because they don't play any Lightning-type attackers and can't really deal with this 170, possibly 210 HP monster barreling down your face, just piling energies on or Y-cycling constantly. So he's always got an attacker. So I can see I can see the allure. Um, uh, I would have played at least maybe one Oblivion Wing in a deck like this just to retain energies. But yeah, it seems really cool. Uh, he played an Ace Trainer too, which I think is really really weird. But um, yeah, and he played the baby, the Mewtwo baby, um, the one that just came out, I guess, for a Mewtwo match. But we'll see. And the deck I really want to talk about here is like the Reg Ice. Glaceon thing. It um it looks weird. Full Red Ice, three Glaceon, two two Garb, and then a bunch of hammers, a bunch of hammers. So it was just like I'm gonna lock you and I'm gonna smack you with Red Ice or Glaceon and let's see what you do. That's fair. Um oh there was a second guy that also played Evil Tall Break. Good for him. Good for him. That's two of them. And then Finn ended up winning with Z Rainbow Road, but his Rainbow Road is the EX heavy version as opposed to the Stage 1 version with Umbreon, Volcanion, and Hoopa, as well as a Galvantula Lion. I like that. It says one junior and senior, I don't know what that is, so we'll have to figure that out. So, what does this all mean? Uh, now that I've looked through the decks um, with my reactions with you guys kind of thing, um, I knew about the decks, I just wanted to look at the lists and give you like a fresh reaction, not just like, ah, I'm making this stuff. No, like, I wanted to look at the list and be like, oh, I, this is exactly what I think. Um, what has happened to the tier list? Well, Evasol is still at the top. Dark Red Giratina has dropped down a notch to tier 2, I want to say. With all these decks that don't heavily rely on special energy or abilities popping up, Dark Eye Giratina loses a lot of its potency. The reason it was such a strong play in Orlando was purely because everyone was relying, the meta was fresh, one, and two, the Volcanion and, like, Greninja were the decks of choice, so we had to counter it in some essence. Like, Volcanion was the one deck we chose not to take a loss to. Like, we just did not want to lose the Volcanion, so that's what we targeted with our um, deck. Coming into this event, I think the decks to target are Mega Guardi, <clears throat> and I want to say Plume Box, because I think, and, and Greninja, Plume Box, Greninja, and Guardi. While Plume Box doesn't seem like the strongest deck on paper, looking at these current results, the Evatol decks that made, oh, and Evatol Garbodor, of course, sorry, Evatol Garbodor is one that you have to target at this point. So, I think Yvetel Garbodor, I'll go down the list. Yvetel Garbodor will be played. It just took five of the top eight spots, or straight Yvetel, or Yvetel variants. It took five of the top eight spots and eight regionals. Sure, it's Europe. Sure, it's like 300 people, but still, that's going to trickle in. It's it's only a week apart. Like, people aren't going to, like, magically just be like, Yvetel's dead. Um, so, you have to go into the contingency plan for Yvetel. <clears throat> Plume Box... I think is very strong. Um, the way things are shaping up with the B drill, you have an answer to Garbodor, so you can B drill 
get rid of their energy, and then Ninja Boy, or Beedrill, sorry, and then you can Ninja Boy that Beedrill into an attacker, which is super good, and I think um, Plume Box is one of the strongest decks that's underrated. Um, it just has, like, answers to everything still in this format, and, like, that's what people forget. Um, if Find Space, I really like the new Mewtwo, the Mewtwo EX, the one that's, um, for, I think, a colorless, attach an energy from your discard to it, so you can do, like, Rainbow, and then attach a DC to it, and then, with its attack, and the following turn, Ninja Boy into an attacker, so you don't lose energies, or you don't lose to Raticate for some reason, because if you guys watched the ARG Charlotte Finals, Chip ended up winning the series in a Mega Rayquaza Mirror, because he played Rattata, or Raticate, and the other, and Nathan Brower did not, um, Chip also was very unfortunate on his prizes and was down, or had taken five prizes, so just needed to take that last one. <sighs> Following up with Plume Box, I think Guardi is still super, super strong just because it. it's one of those decks that, like, I'm gonna set up no matter what you do, and I will do my own thing. Like, Guardi is pretty much playing solitaire for 90% of their game. Their reactionary stages are literally, I'm going to set up my board and attack you. There's not much thought. It's a very autopilot deck, in my opinion. And <clears throat> it's just, like, fun. I like playing it. <laughs> it's very fun to play. Uh, but if you don't have an answer for Guardi going into the regionals, I would be very surprised. Like, if you're playing a deck that has a 40-60 matchup against it, fine, that's fine. Because Guardi also can clunk out. You have to just take that 40% and run with it. But if it's like a 2080, a 1090, 3070 even, I wouldn't one play your deck. Um, just because I think Guardi is going to be one of the most prevalent decks at Fort Wayne, just because it's strong. Just very strong. People consider it a one-hit wonder. I don't. I, I absolutely do not. I think Guardi is here to stick. Guardi is here to stay. Other than that, another very, very good deck is... What did I say in my four? Is it Pumba? Uh, Greninja, that's right. I was like, which ones did I not say? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Greninja. So Greninja is very good because of the new promo, I think, and people are going to be drawn to Greninja. And now, a note: Sam Chen's eleventh place Orlando Regionals finish did not include Talonflame, and I think that is the route to go. You have more space for stadiums. You have more space for other cards that are consistent. So you can play heavier splash counts, and you just kind of set up. And now you have the promo. To answer Garbodor. And if um, Greninja has like two or three turns to set up as, and you can't punish them for it, they're just gonna run steam on you. Like, it just, it's just Greninja. Like, they're gonna, you take one prize, suddenly you're getting Ace Trainer every single turn. Do you know how hard it is to play this game with three cards? Four when you draw your card for the turn in your hand? And being able to knock out like a 130, possibly 170 HP Greninja every single turn on top of that, while they're shadow stitching you, so you can't use abilities, while they're doing 60, 60 to two things, possible or even one, um, <clears throat> Greninja is just so so good right now. I think. Um, personally, if I went to Fort Wayne, I would play one of my stupid rogue decks like Altaria. I want to say. I would like to tell you guys that I would play Altaria. Someone would probably convince me otherwise uh, when I get to the event. Like, one of my teammates would probably be like, oh, don't be dumb, play something that's real. Um, so, in, in a nutshell, I would tell you that I'd, play, I'd be playing Guardi if I went to Fort Wayne. I, I'm i not going to Fort Wayne. There's, like, a slight chance, because I'm going home for Thanksgiving, which is in Virginia. I'm flying home to Virginia from Florida, and I could ask my parents if I could leave with Russell or something. But, uh, they're probably going to say no. Because uh, I only see them a couple times a year because I'm in college. Uh, so they want to have me for as long as they can. So I will not be in Fort Wayne. My personal top three for Fort Wayne, or four, I'm going to keep it at the top. I'll, I'll just make it around five, and I'll throw in at fifth Mega Rayquaza. Why not? Because um, it just did good ARG Charlotte. I don't I don't like Mega Rayquaza as a deck. I don't like think it's something to be watched out for. I think if you have a great list and you really like the deck, play it. It beats Guardi. It beats Plume Box if you can set up properly, and it like should beat Evil Tall Garb if they don't play Heavy Fright Knight and you don't just play poorly. Um, like Mega Rayquaza is also a very good deck with really really good matchups across the board, so I'll put that in as fifth. Um, my top choice, Guardi, obviously. Second choice would be Plume Box because um, 
I like having those options. I like being able to not let my opponent play the game. Um, third, I'd play Greninja. Fourth would be Ray because I don't like playing Evitol decks of any sort. So fifth is Evitol Garb um, for me. But Evitol Garb is number one to be watched out for. Guardi is number two to be watched out for. Um, and that like should be a wrap, I think. Like I don't really have much else I want to talk about. But yeah, thank you for watching. Good luck in Fort Wayne. Let me know in the comments if you're going, what you, you think you're going to play. Um, feel free to message us on Facebook, giving us updates, what's going on. Um, I, I'm going to be I'm going to be invested in it during the Thanksgiving weekend while I'm with my family. I'll probably have it open on my laptop. Probably have it like standings on my phone or something. Like I'll be checking. I've got a ton of friends going, so I'm very emotionally invested in this weekend. So, um, good luck to all of you going. Uh, and make make me proud, I guess. Good luck and thanks for watching. Please be sure to like. Please be sure to subscribe. Likes really help out a lot. And thank you so much.